Well, the Kendrick brothers and Kirk Cameron are both known for making great movies with inspiring faith-based stories. They've teamed up to produce a new film. It's called Life Mark, the story of a young man setting out to find his birth parents. It's also about the value of life in the womb and the beauty of adoption. It's in theaters beginning September the 9th. Would you please welcome the co-producer and star of Life Mark and the host of Takeaways right here on TBN, Kirk Cameron. B.J. Thomas would be proud. <laughs> you know, they did some stuff just for you, Kirk. How about that? I am so honored. <laughs> well, this band is great. They can do anything, you know? They're really, really good. And uh, they are excited that you're here. We're all excited you're here and very excited about this new movie that's coming out, Life Mark. Well, Mike, Mike, I am so excited to be here. And uh, you are somebody that I admire, I respect greatly. Well, thank you. And two things I want to say about you, and okay. I want to say it publicly, that you have always been an example to me of faith working itself out in love. Thank and you. And two, reminding us that love is not love if it's not married to the truth. Hmm. And I want to thank you for that. Thank you. It means a lot to hear that. Well, speaking of love, married to the truth, I think one of the reasons that I was excited that you were going to be with us is because every time I've seen some of the movies that the Kendrick brothers have produced, and you've worked with them before in movies like Fireproof, mm. it's powerful stories, well-written, uh, acted brilliantly, and good production values, but there's a powerful message. The message here is that adoption matters, life matters. You must have taken an interest in this film. What was it when you read the script and said, I want to be a part of that? Well, I have a personal interest in the subject of adoption because as a father of six children, my wife and I decided to adopt four first. Wow. And my wife is an adopted child. So when I think of the people that mean most to me in my life, uh, all six of my kids and my wife they were one doctor appointment away from not being here. They mm. could have been aborted. If my wife had been aborted, my two natural born children wouldn't be here either. Yeah. So this means a lot to me personally, and it's a story that couldn't be more perfectly timed. I mean, who would have thought in our lifetime that Roe versus Wade would be aborted and right on the heels of that Supreme Court decision, here's a movie in the theaters that celebrates the value of life in the womb and the beauty of adoption. We need that message right now. We truly do. We're going to show a little clip from the film. And if you could kind of set it up and tell us what we're going to see when we, uh, when we roll to the clip. So imagine this 19-year-old boy who uh, just learns that his biological mother has reached out to him, and he's of legal age to decide if he wants to connect with her. He's, he's sort of confused about what to do. He's not sure if this would offend his adoptive parents if he reached out. So I, as his father, come to him, and I help to ease his mind and let him know that uh, I am his father and always will be, no matter what he decides. Mm. Let's watch. You remember asking to see that when you were about eight? Dad, is that Brian and Melissa? Yeah. We stopped for lunch on the way home from church. And out of the blue, you asked us if you could meet your birth mother. And so mom uh, asked you what you would say to her if you could meet her. And you said, I would say, hi, my name is David. I'm really looking forward to seeing oh. it. Now, it's going to be in theater starting next week, September the 9th on Friday. Uh, sometimes a Fathom event maybe only be one night, but this is going to run for longer than that, right? Fathom is doing something in the theaters they've never done before. We're going to be there for at least one week, mm. beginning September 9th. And the key for us uh, to get this message out to more people is to go see the movie opening weekend. That yeah. tells the theaters 
Uh, we need to put it in more theaters and keep it in the theaters longer. Um, Mike, I, I want to just say that, that Life Mark is not a movie with a heavy-handed political message. It is a true story, and it is pro-abundant life, pro-family, pro-forgiveness, pro-love, mm. reconciliation, and new beginnings. Uh, so, it's for everybody. Hey, those are messages that America really needs, regardless of anybody's personal or political point of view. That's right. I, I think it's important what you just said. People need to go on opening night if it's at all possible, and certainly opening weekend. If they can't go Friday, go Saturday, or go Sunday. But go see it when it first comes out, because Hollywood looks around and says, hey, people want to go see the movie. And, you know, they may not care about the message, but they care about the money. And if it makes money, they're going to say, this film may just get to stay longer in the theaters. That's right. That's so important. At a time where people are saying, where is the hope and what can I do? Uh, here's something you can do. You can be a part of culture-shaping stories like Life Mark and other good movies so that the future of filmmaking begins to reflect the values that we love, uh, not only for us, but for our kids and our, and our kids' kids. Well, I, I hope that everyone goes and sees it, and I also hope that people will realize uh, there's some other things Kirk is involved in and we'll mention in a moment. But here's the reminder. Life Mark opens in theaters nationwide on September the 9th for a seven-day limited engagement. We hope it's more than that. You can learn more and get advanced tickets by going to Huckabee.tv.